okay um, good day and welcome to our channel again today I'm going to talk about sourcing and selecting so this is the second HR core skill that I mentioned about it earlier on now um, in any organization when you want to hire someone you need to consider at least two process first you need to source for the candidate and you must know where you can source for the candidate and second thing after you source then you have to select them now sourcing I don't think is an problems right now but selecting definitely is a challenge to many organizations because we want to select the right candidate one is hired very difficult to terminate of course in some country you may find it easy to terminate any employee that you hired but in a uh, you know, certain country for example like in Malaysia when you hired you can just you cannot just simply summarily dismiss, dismiss anyone for any reason all right so let's look at their two process that I just mentioned just now first look at their sourcing candidate now when you're talking about the sourcing, what are you looking for basically? In fact, you are looking for someone that has the right skill for the job, someone that motivate to do the job, and someone who are also fit to do the job from the physical standpoint and also from the mental capability standpoint. Now, from the sourcing perspective, <clears throat> there's many ways you can source for a candidate. One of the common things that you can do is perhaps you can look at your previous resume. So you look at, so we talk about the file search. Look at your previous resume. You may have some resume that fit into the current need that you may not need, you know, last time. The next one probably you can consider like internal search meaning that you look at the current employee some of the employee may be fit into the new role that you want uh, to hire or you want uh, the person to do the next one you can look at the referral program you can ask the employee pay them some amount of money and then to let the employee recommend someone that they know for a job of course you can do the advertisement you can go in the job portal you can go to the headhunters to source for you or you can even outsource a job rather than hire someone into your organization as full-time employee or perhaps thinking out of the box you can consider to look at your competitors you know who is your competitors generally right so you can source from them probably that's not that ethical but a lot of people are also doing it now you also can look at you know organizations uh, you know disabled disability or association or something like that that have those skills that probably fit your need or even the retirees someone already reaching a retirement age but you still find that you know those people are still have so much you know energy to perform or you can look at the organization that doing outplacement for the sourcing purposes or retrenching firm you know especially in the current uh, COVID-19 situation a lot of companies also retrenching you can look at you know people who are uh, researching uh, their employee you can go to them and then uh, search the way to do their uh, direct sourcing you can uh, go to the educa educational institutions higher learning education university college and so on and so forth direct hiring from them or you can uh, even look at their community network right? there's so many ways you can source but one thing that I like to highlight is the social media a lot of people doing the sourcing right now is based on social media for example you go to LinkedIn Facebook many many of those you know, social media that is much more effective way to source for the candidate so that's the first process when you want to hire someone you need to source for candidate the next process definitely when you source then you need to do the selection process now this is the toughest part as far as I'm concerned now I have some manager come to me that um, they probably uh, take 
three minutes for them to identify whether that person fit for the job or not. Well, I have a second thought around that, but I'll come back later on that. Yeah, because there's many error around that. If you feel that you can, you can uh, identify someone within five minutes whether they're fit for the job or not, then probably you are grossly involved into a uh, you know uh, look like me errors, uh, perhaps you know um, some other errors that involve in the uh, prejudgmental uh, for that position. So let's come back to the uh, selection of candidate. What exactly we are looking for when we want to select the candidate? Generally, probably there's a four or five things or six items or six elements that you're looking for. First, you want to look for the candidate that has relevant knowledge. Second, looking for the candidate we have the right skill, experience, capability in terms of physical or mental capability. We are also probably looking at the aptitude of that individual, whether he have the natural skill to do that job. And I think the most toughest part is talking about attitude. We want to get the right attitude person to join you. That's why some of the staffing uh, personnel, they, they, they used to uh, have this statement. They call it, hire for attitude, train for skill. So the skill can easily be trained, but attitude, you know, it cannot easily change someone. All right. So those are the key elements when you're looking for a candidate. Now, in my many years experience in doing the staffing as well, I believe that to get the right candidate, probably you need to consider three things, three simple things to ensure that you have the uh, right knowledge, a skill, experience, capability, attitude and aptitude of that individual. The first, what I normally do myself, when I do the hiring, I do or conduct the personality profiling of that individual. We will go into the detail one by one how to conduct personality profiling. Now, the second thing that I used to do, which I feel effective, is you provide some assignment-based assessment. So you give some assignment to this individual, let him come out with some of the solution, then you can see whether that solution is uh, meeting your uh, expectation or not. And then the third one is looking or interview them based on the behavioral base, right? Or some people term it as behavioral base interview so looking at how he behaved in certain situation so that behavior probably going to carry on also in the new role that he's going to play for today let's look at the uh, assignment based assessment now the assignment base is basically talking about asking someone to do some work related assignment as part of the assessment uh, yeah, uh, basis. Example like, if you want to hire computer analyst, then probably you need or require him to debug software, right? And if you want to hire the people manager, probably you require him to you know, be able to review you know, the performance, set a performance, be able to identify the strength and weaknesses of that particular incident or that particular individual and be able to provide feedback to the individual. Now, in the uh, um, assignment-based assessment, I outline five steps altogether. The first step is, of course, you have to decide what position you want to hire. The second step is, to determine the core performance objective of this role, what is this person supposed to do? And then the third one is you choose one specific work related problem relevant to the position. Then you create the short summary of that incident and ask him to solve that problem. Probably giving him like you know a 30 or 45 minutes to sit down and come up with the solution to that problem. So this problem is the real problem that probably you are facing currently relevant to that job. 
after that, then you can look at the uh, uh, what he have come out with and do the assessment. Whether that assessment or whether that solution that this candidate provide, it makes sense to you, makes sense to the organization, make logical sense in terms of process map. So looking at maybe what kind of information they are gathering, maybe are looking at the uh, potential stakeholders uh, should be involved in that uh, you know uh, solution, or maybe you need to look at maybe uh, you know the step process, so step one, step two, step three, how to solve that problems, and uh, beside that you know options maybe you have one or two or three options. So after he have completed that assignment. Then you can look at how he respond to that assignment. Then you can start interview from there as well. Now, after these assignments, what can you get from him? Basically, you'll be able to assess whether he have knowledge for the job and whether he have the skill for the job and whether he has the capability in terms of physical as well as mental capability to do the job or not. Alright? So by doing that, you can ask many other questions relevant to that. But basically, uh, as far as the um, assignments-based assessment, those are the uh, few steps that you can consider. We will uh, uh, share with you again you know, other skill set, for example, like personality profiling and also behavioral based interview in the next coming video. So, see you in my next video.